It seems Bolton Wanderers have all of a sudden become camera shy. Is there any hope for us at all of gaining promotion? I'm beginning to wonder now. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode with Bolton and we're still in the cup competitions. Hurrah! Uh, we're through to the next round of the FA Cup and we are uh, in the next round of the Lease.com Trophy North second round. Play Rochdale and as you can remember in the last episode we drew with Rochdale nil nil. So hopefully it's going to be a little bit better game this time round but we are away from home. But again it's a trophy that we're not really interested in. If we win it, great. If we don't, we don't. I don't really mind. But the FA Cup, we beat uh, Ebsleep 3-0 after a boring 0-0 um, first half. Gave them a little bit of a rollicking at half time and they came out and they uh, won 3 0. But we'll go through that result in a second. But there's, um, we do play Fleetwood from League One. Again, we get to play them uh, away from home in the second round. So, since our last, um, well, since the last episode with the Drew Blanks in the two 0 0 in the two draws, beat Cheltenham 2 0. Uh, it had to take a goal from Ali Crawford. To set us on the way and politics scoring in the 68th minute shrewsbury on the other hand we were too um we were tuning up we conceded stupidly straight afterwards to make it a little bit hard for ourselves towards the end but it was a fair fairly easy game so i was quite chuffed with that then obviously the absolute ones we did um rotate the side a little bit connor hall playing for the first time in a while and he went and scored uh, it seems to like his cup competitions does uh, Connor Hall. First half was absolute dire, rollicking at uh, half time, and they came out fighting, which was a change. This one against Man City again is slightly rotated, but not that much really rotation involved. A lot of players out on international duty, um, but nil nil at full time, boring as you like. It went to penalties and uh, we did uh, lose it on penalties 4-3. That was really disappointing. So Man City under 23s get that extra point. We finished second so it didn't really matter that much to be perfectly honest. We have got Fleetwood in the next round of the FA Cup and then we got Rochdale in the uh, Leasing.com second round as well. So we want to progress a little bit further but we may come back to the Fleetwood game. Mainly because it's the FA Cup, but it might I might come back to the third round. I'm expecting to beat Fleetwood. That's the idea for that one. Anyway, let's concentrate on these two games. We've got Tramway in 12th position. And then we've got Barnsley, who are lying in third position. The table, we are still top. We're six points clear of Ipswich. They have got games in hand. And Barnsley, if they beat us, they'll have a game in hand. And also they'll be closing the gap as well. So we do really need to win that one. First off, the side then that's going to be playing Tranmere first. We're going to go with this formation, the Saviour of Bolton. That's what I've called it. It helped last season towards the end. And it um, certainly helped us at the start of this season as well. We're going to have Bossman in goal. No, we're not going to have Bossman in goal. Yes, we are because Kieran O'Hara is out on international duty as well. As a few others as well, like King Harms, politics as well, um, and Chickson. He's got he's out on the, to uh, Zimbabwe. Valinden is going to be coming back to training very very shortly. Eddie Brown, we're going to sit out. He's not playing well at all. Even though he's our best striker, we just can't get him scoring. It's it's really annoying. So Connor Hall is going to have a go. Uh, see what he's like in the league, and then we've got uh, Archer, who is back from injury. He's going to be sitting out on the bench. Joe Bunny's wanted. Who's wants him? Bristol Rovers transfer. Do we bring him in or keep Boone in? Well, we'll leave it as it is. So we're going to have Bossman in goal. We've got Emmanuel, Vanderberg, Brockbank and Boone. Low, Shenton and uh, Delhi is where he, he is. Why is he not in? I'd rather have where than low. That's why. Because him and Shenton do play quite well together. No, can leave you as a ball winning midfielder uh, Lockett and Mella out on the wings and then we are going to have Connor Hall up front I'm not sure I've got it on uh, attacking or not so if it is we'll have to change it send so the assistant let's play the game it's on positive anyway so that's fine all right first attack uh, attack for Tranmere then on six minutes wow he's just hit the crossbar wow what a uh, strike that is a uh, Kind of hole. You can run for it if you like. Coming forward, passes it over to where Mela gets in front of his man there. 
he is really playing well. The Man United or ex Man United players are playing really well and they are coming good. And Lockett's just missed a sit on the back post, and that is really disappointing to see that he did couldn't keep it down. As we start again from the goal kick, Mella again on the ball, Emmanuel. They seem to play quite well together. He switches it wide to Herford Lockett, not Harford. Shenton, that's a poor ball, and he's been playing really well in the training as well, Shenton. We gave him a little bit of praise. It looks like it's gone to his head. Proctor now for Tranmere. Plays it out to Taylor, who's just gone past his man. Oh, boom, just well played. Lofts it up to Hall. Not quite getting there, but he does have it back. And uh, again, we're not getting on the ball here. I'm going to give him a little bit of shouty time. Proctor pulls it away. And that's an easy goal to have. Stefan Payne. Eighth goal of the season. Proctor is a man that we do need to keep an eye on. All the time in the world. And uh, turns and shoots. Look at that. Good head. Coming up to half time. And with about 10 minutes to go. And uh, nothing's happened since the goal. Nothing at all. And uh, I'm not sure why all of a sudden they just seem a little bit scared to tackle. Changing rooms. I'm going to um, rollick them a little bit. I think this is an opportunity. Uh, I'd see, expect to see a better performance in the second half. Well, I do. And we're going to go a little bit attacking. The attacking seems to work quite well with us. We're not moving at all. Can we? Are we attacking at all? This formation is supposed to be the saviour. Right, we're going to push up. We're taking Shenton off. We're going to bring Ali Crawford in. While we've still got him, we're going to use him. And we're going to bring in Archer. We're going to have Archer up there as poacher. Let's see if we can um, get a result here. Disappointing if we come away with a loss here. I will be really upset. Crawford getting involved immediately. Passes back to Boom. Delhi over the top to Archer, who almost puts the ball in the back of net with his first touch of the game. Let's see if uh, we can do it again. We'll pass it back to him. He does. Crawford. Back post. Delhi. Delhi has another chance. Nobody there. Lock it. Anybody. Nobody picking it up. But Blackett Taylor does. And all of a sudden Tranmere are running away. Proctor is the main man. No. We do get a tackle in. 15 to go. Let's go very attacking. Not much really happens from very attacking does it. Let's demand more as well. Anything going to happen in the next few minutes. When we pick up a loss. Which isn't what we wanted, really. Our best player on a 6.9s, uh, Vanderberg. That is uh, awful. That is an awful performance. Putting aside this rather really pleasing performance, no. Training tomorrow, guys. Having it easy like that. We've got Barnsley coming up next. We are five points ahead of uh, Ipswich, who must have drawn, I take it. Yeah, they did. Uh, the 1 0 loss to Tramway, though, is disappointing. I'm not happy because Tranmere are down there. If we lose to Tranmere, what's to say we're not going to lose to Bolt, uh, Barnsley? Right, send the assistant. I'm not going to no press uh, conference. And that's a six match unbeaten run coming to an end. And as you can see, we are struggling to uh, score goals as well. Right, Barnsley in third coming up next. We'll quickly move along to that. We'll see you guys in a few seconds. We're playing at home. We are playing against Barnsley, third in the table. And we welcome back quite a few of our first teamers after injury, international duty and what have you. O'Hara comes back between the stakes. We've got Laird on the right backs. Vanderberg and Colvin renew their partnership in the centre with Bunny on the left hand side. Delhi, Shenton and Weir in the centre. Verlinden we welcome back finally. He was pivotal in the early part of the season with four assists on one goal. Buckley, we welcome him as well. And uh, Eddie Brown, we're going to give him another go up front. Our new signing that we did pick up, McKendo. He went and scored a hat-trick on his debut in the under-23s. So that was uh, quite promising. And I'm um, hoping next year he might step up to the mark if we don't get anybody straight into the first team from anywhere else but uh, we want to try and bring our youth through Barnsley on the other hand we've got a Woodrow 13 goals if scored um, one there there's not many Cisco apart from a guy in the middle Jacob Brown Styles we've got Geehem he seems to be their better player three assists three goals not bad and Collins how many of you considered 12 and 16 O'Hara what have you 10 and 18 so quite a uh, Okay-ish, I guess. Strange in the changing rooms. We're not going to dwell on it too long. We want to... Well, 
let's see if we can score a goal. We seem to be struggling on camera. And it just seems to be that we're a little bit camera shy, I believe. We were last episode, and it seems to be happening again this episode. It's at this time, we have come away with a loss first. I'm hoping... Oh, he's just gone over the top of Vanderberg, and uh, it's a good stop by O'Hara. Nice to have him back between the sticks. And within the first six minutes, we're on the back foot. Cross comes in, and it looks like Barnsley are looking to uh, do us over, I think. Especially at the University of Bolton. That's not going to happen, I don't think. Corner ball. Uh, cross comes in, headed up wide by Anderson, and that's a goal kick. Lincoln are tuning up at home to Stevenage, and we just don't seem to be doing anything at all. Barnsley with another chance, and this time they have scored. Callum Styles, second goal of the season, would you believe? And we're nearly at the halfway point, and we've just conceded another goal. Another set piece, I think. Being look at that, we've got players on the line. What was, was that? Manuel? That was Lear or somebody on the. Wow, what was he doing behind the goal? I'm going to shout at them again. Passion, come on. And we're going to go attacking as well for the last couple of minutes. Can we get a highlight at least? We don't seem to be getting many highlights. Rollicum once again, hand over assistant. Now I'm going to let him deal with it. Oh, we have got a new um, assistant manager, by the way. Uh, Kevin Blackwell, I think it was. Flickcroft vanished over to Northampton. So we have got, we're trying to... Uh, familiar ourselves with the new assistant and why are we not uh, doing anything right we have a highlight a horror with a goal kick Barnsley just seem to be all over us at the moment and we're not uh, getting anywhere near it are we good interception there though Bunny racing forward into the middle no he's going for goal instead pass the ball that's all he had to do Barnsley they're going to come away with this. Anderson plays it to Styles, And uh, yes, look at this. They're just playing us off the park. That's a good interception by Verlinden. He wants to win. But we're not getting the ball at all, are we? Thomas, it's a good start. Can we keep it in? Oh, let's boot it out. Why don't we? It's a throwing. We're looking rather anxious. And we may have to make a couple of changes because nothing seems to be happening. Eddie Brown is down the uh, right-hand side. He's going to cross it. He does. Back post. Nobody there. Bunny does. Should collect. Uh, Daddy passes it back to him. He didn't want it back, did he? And they just seem to be passing it between themselves. Shenton. Good pass to Bunny. Bunny finds a bit of space. Cross comes in low and hard to nobody in particular. Colvin does win it back, though. Daddy out wide to Laird. Laird, can you cross it? And we've just Buckley just waxed it over. We're just struggling all over the place here. Absolutely struggling. And we're going to have to push up, aren't we? And we're going to bring in Darcy. We've not seen much of Darcy. So let's see if we can just get attacking going here in the last couple of minutes of the game. And another loss, mate. From being unbeaten and a free kick outside the box. And that. That's it. We've just picked up another loss. Camera shy or what, folks? Camera shy or what? And uh, that's another game where we've not scored a goal. I mean, was that a good save? And off the line, I mean, who was that, really? At home as well, it's, it's very disappointing. Especially with attacking as well, believe it or not. Barnsley just seem to be... I think they're one of the favourites to go back up anyway. Laird is on goal. Good start by Collins. And... I don't really hold much hope for us, really. Are we going to get anywhere there? Penalty, maybe? Oh, it's a penalty for Linden. We do have a lifeline if he does put it in the back of the net, that net though. Can't give me words. He does. 2-1. So that's a first goal today. Not quite um, the comeback I expected from our first team, as really. Although they have been out. Probably needed a rest. But can we get another goal? It's not looking hopeful. Three minutes of added time and that's going to whiz by. Unless we get something here. Can we win the ball? Styles To the far side to Brown. No, we don't want to concede a goal. No. Hara, release. Go. Get red. Go on. Pump it up. What are you doing? Don't waste 20 seconds. Darcy on the ball. He's going forward. He's got nothing about him at all. I tried to put him into under 23s. 
he called me into his well he called me into his office he came into my office and uh, demanded first team four but I'd given him the chance and he's he's just not good enough 10 seconds to go and they're running the clock down and it's not Laird gets away Valinda over the top go on son what was that Delhi how I to seriously referee you could have at least let us finish that off and that is another loss uh, tell you what these guys look like the camera shy I'm not having this at all this is a disappointment we've got a distraction with the FA Cup in the next game but that's another loss that's three we've had on the almost on the bounce Coventry Tranmere and now Barnsley we need to get back to winning ways and we started off very very well now all of a sudden the formation the savior of Bolton doesn't seem to be doing us at any good at all now and we just seem to be uh, just shy shy to play on camera not happy about it at all the table with two points ahead although Ipswich have a game in hand Barnsley got two games in hand and that was the really the games where we should be winning and even Luton can uh, catch us up now although they are five points but it's many Ipswich and Barnsley so it's, we're lucky for the top well say top spot I would like to see us um, qualify somehow. Let's just have a quick look at what the um, preview was. It was Barnsley to win the league, actually, to be fair. So, to lose 2-1, I suppose it's not that bad. We've still got a long way to go. We just need to sort out another formation because it just doesn't seem to work again. <laughs> right, we've got the FA Cup to distract ourselves. Then we've got Bristol Rovers, who are line 14th. Rochdale, and then... You know what? We may come back to these two away games. Bradford and Lincoln. I think that could be the next two games to do. Although Bradford are 11th. Lincoln are in 5th. So if you enjoyed that, or sort of, or if you like to see us lose, please pop a like on there. If you'd like to see more on YouTube channel, please subscribe. And until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you.